Hello, I'm Igor Prikazuk, and this is the user guide of SCO, Sol Canopy Observation of Photochemistry and Energy Fluxes mode. You will learn what to use scope for, how to download it, how to run it for the first time in MATLAB environment, where to find output files, what are they about, and how to set inputs to get ready for your run. That is not the verification map. In brief, scope model is a soil canopy observation of photosynthesis and energy fluxes. In the time I'm recording, the term digital twin is very popular. And if you want, scope is a digital twin of vegetation, soil, canopy. In terms of how satellites see it, this is called radiative transfer part. And in terms of how a biochemist uh, sees it, this is in terms of leaf fluxes, leaf photosynthesis, how it will behave in the leaf clip, and about canopy, how it will behave with edicovarius measurements in terms of exchange of uh, energy fluxes, water fluxes, carbon fluxes with the atmosphere. What to use scope for? Uh, this is described quite well in the documentation, and I hope this reference will always be uh, with you. When I click here, I am already on the internet. This is uh, scope on read the docs. And when you land here in model capabilities, you will see that in the first place, scope is about spectra. So about representing how uh, vegetation is uh, seen, the reflectance of soil, the reflectance of a leaf, and the reflectance of canopy, and emitters of thermal radiation by the canopy. The second term is fluorescence, solar-induced fluorescence. Uh, this is uh, what scope can uh, simulate in relation to that. You can read it on this web page. In terms of energy balance, uh, we model net radiation on the canopy and its partitioning towards sensible latent and ground heat fluxes through iterating and closing energy balance that you can also read uh, here. And finally, there are some extra properties such as vertical profile within the canopy, such as uh, BRDF, uh, bidirectional distribution reflectance function, that helps to identify where the hotspot of reflectance and of fluorescence and of thermal emitted radiance in the canopy is. And finally, the time series mode helps us to run it over daily or uh, sub-daily or annual time scales to identify uh, vegetation responses to different climatic factors. So, the next point is how to download school from GitHub. You can click this link, you can find our Christian Mander to school, or you can always find GitHub here. In every page of documentation, on the right corner, you can say edit on GitHub, click here, and you will be redirected to GitHub of Christian. Then you click school, quote, download zip and the zip is in the download I'll put this downloaded file directly to our desktop now you see the folder is here and of course we have to unzip it I unzip it exactly here here we have it extracted finally I always double click and double click again I see the whole structure of this call this is the root folder and the file we are interested in is scope M. To open this file, we have to have MATLAB. As you see, in my case, this file is already highlighted as a MATLAB code file. So for me, it's enough to double click. And then uh, MATLAB will appear. If you do not have MATLAB, you can check it here, for example, by typing MATLAB. If you have a net, you can launch it and make association of .m file with this. If you don't have it, uh, you can go to uh, this file or the file of your country, download MATLAB. You have to log in. First time, MATLAB will ask you to log in also when you are just launching it. For now, uh, we have to run. And the running button is here, just here. So we opened scope by double click. We click normally if everything is right. It will think a little bit and then start running. This part also takes time, 
so we'll skip. But it is also quite quick because we're running scope 2 with a light mode. What we are waiting for is this. The output is the same as in the verification data set. Hopefully, it is the same for you. If not, at the end of the video, several reasons will be discussed. So where is this output? The output is stored in the output folder. You see here there are two files. One is verification data against which we were comparing. And this is the verification run that we have just finished. Once you open it, you see many CSV files. Yeah. If we go back to uh, documentation, output files, in each simulation, you will have those files. You can click on the file see exactly what what is inside what are the units what it stays for which variable scope does it represent it's nice to group them immediately in your mind into two groups one type of output is spectral output you see it's the largest the largest files apparent reflectance solar uh, spectrum and spectrum spectral spectral spectrum so those files are per wavelengths of scope, which is from 400 nanometers up until 50 micrometers. The other files, they are all smaller because they are scalar files, such as this one, fluorescent scalars, which means that one output per line. Let's open one file. For me, vegetation is the most uh, natural one to open. What you will see is uh, the line of column names, the line with units, we can make it a bit larger, and the hundreds, hundred lines of simulations. So two lines for uh, headers and hundred lines of simulations. If we plot it just to see what, what is there, we see that photosynthesis is somewhere from zero and sometimes even negative, so minus 10 to 40. And there is no button mm, because there was no button in this uh, input. The input was a uh, latent hypercube by default. So what you see is the first simulation. We didn't provide any year. We didn't provide any day of year. These are really independent uh, simulations. So this photosynthesis, what does it correspond to? To do so, we have file pass an input short. This file lists only input that was varying in between the runs. Once it's open, you can see that we were varying quite a few parameters. These are input parameters of score. So for the first simulation, we varied 17 parameters. Chlorophyll, leaf chlorophyll content was 55.3, leaf carotenoid content was 17.8, etc. So this first line if we, when we put it in score, will give us photosynthesis of 17.73. So the correspondence of lines in these two documents is exactly, uh, exactly matching. Once more, the output is stored in the output folder. Now let's go to input and see uh, how to finally make input our own to run not verification but our own data. So we have two groups of files three files in input and one file in the main folder. Now we are in the step three of getting started. Main input files, file names, input data, and set options are located in folder input. So when I go to this folder and I open set options, what I see is this. In the first column, we say one enable option of zero, disable option, and the names of options. What we want to run, most likely, is that we do not want to verify any more runs because our runs should not match uh, the folder. So this is the first uh, thing we are going to do. We say verify line 8 equals 0 and we save the file. Next, uh, we can go to file names. This is already a pure for beauty. But in the file names, there are many more parameters we are going to discuss. But what is important for us now is just simulation name. 
we're going to call it, I am going to call it my simulation. This will change the name of the output folder. We are not going to change in, for this time anything else in this file. So I save it and I close it. So after setting a verify option to zero, if we run scope again, and again, we wait some time until it runs, what we don't see is we don't see anymore the verification, the message that the output is the same as in the verification data set. This message we don't see anymore because we disabled verification. And finally, um, just for information, we look at the input data default. What we are going to see again, to call the file, parameters of the leaf model, parameters of leaf biochemical models, parameters of soil, parameters of canopy, parameters of meteor, aerodynamic, and time series angles. Here, we are not going to change again anything. We would not have to save because we didn't change. What is important now is to go back and open this file, set parameter file. This is three column file, which tells school which inputs we have to use. And here we see set options, which we adjusted. We changed the option verify to zero. File names that was adjusted. Now we change here to input data default. Once I save it, and I run scope again, what I will see is that there's only one simulation that was running and there is no verification course. So in the output, I will see my simulation. If I open files, I will see again large files with an reflectance. And I will see if I open this time Flatsys file, I will see that there's only one simulation that was run. So to sum up, we change these three files and we change if we want uh, the parameter, set parameter file names. That was it for the first recording. You found out what to use code for, how to download it from GitHub, how to run it, where and which output files are stored, and how to adjust input files to get ready for your run. I would like to point out two common mistakes. First one, if the output is not the same as in the verification run, uh, scope has several options to, uh, depending on how much the discrepancies are, to tell you uh, that they are. First of all, uh, most likely, most like most likely, it will show you this message that the size of some of the output files are different for verification run, uh, and it even says you that possible causes different MATLAB version. So um, most likely, most likely. You see this message because you did not want to verify. So the solution is set verify to zero in input set options. Uh, it's really, really common that uh, you think you set it, but in fact you didn't. So here in set options, you say verify equals zero, and then uh, you continue working at your own pace. However, it may happen that indeed um, you wanted to verify because you downloaded new version of scope and you see it doesn't match. So the quick fix could be that there are some other options in your file that are not the same as the ones that were used for verification file. Uh, in this case, uh, for example, you can use uh, Notepad++ and you will see that in my case, the light option was disabled and even some options were not present. Uh, of course, the output will be different. And the final, this I would say for advanced users, if you see the options are the same, you really wanted to verify, and you see that something went wrong, uh, then you will have to look at the graphs and think what is the possible reason. Uh, for example, uh, for example, uh, this is the stack of messages you are going to be getting if your output is not the same. And after some time, you will see many graphs. This happens only in case if and the number of lines matches and everything else matches, but the values themselves are different. And if you look very attentively uh, at these graphs, for example, at uh, vegetation, uh, at LST parameter, you see that there are some black 
uh, lines above uh, the red line. Uh, so if I close this figure, it's at 23 figures. If I close this figure, because there are 23 files, I will see here even more, there are more black lines uh, that do not match red uh, lines. Uh, so we see that in this, when we compare these two runs, uh, what is different is uh, probably a radiative transfer scheme that, uh, that results in these reflectance parameters uh, being different. Also, aerodynamic uh, seem to be changed uh, quite a lot because, the, for example, run number 65, one output says that resistance uh, is uh, 13,000, the other one says that resistance is around uh, 50. So by examining these files, you can maybe think of what was done different. And the second common issue is that verification data was simply not found. When the data is not uh, found, maybe you have just deleted it. Uh, so your solution is to download verification data from GitHub again. What I mean by this is when I open output file, I see there is no verification data folder. And when I try to, to compare the output, it says the output file, 22 files stored, whereas there should be zero files. This checks that verification data is not there. Thank you. See you in the next videos.